Jason. And we live just outside on the edge of Sugar House on um, about 2700 South Northeast area. This is our first time at the farmer's market here and uh, this is a really nice addition here to, to the area. I think um, these people can happen to go down all the way downtown and deal with the crowds there. You can just come locally and, and get some fresh produce and hang out in the park. Before getting out of stay. Locally owned businesses have better owners. They are more, I don't know, they're a lot better, I think. Uh, just a lot of familiar faces. Just, we get to know, you see the same people day after day, week after week, so you get to know a lot of people. I just like how she has a lot, has a lot of local businesses and a lot of support the local businesses. Favorite parts of Sugar House? Probably any one of the bars. <laughs> so, uh, Fiddler's Elbow, Sugar House Club, those spots. I think about seeing that area is super cool. Uh, it's good to see that they're starting to bring that area back to life. It's dead. There's a lot of taking out to the club. Watch for I live right off of 21st South. I love Sugar House Park and all the many parks in Sugar House. I think that's one of the best things about Sugar House are all the parks. There's so many to choose from. My name's Melanie and I live over by Emerson Elementary. Um, uh, my best part about Sugar House, I really like all of the parks and how you can walk everywhere. We walk everywhere. I don't think I've gotten in my car this week. It's awesome. <laughs> My name is Bryce. Uh, I was born and, born and raised in Sugar House. I uh, went to Dilworth Elementary. Kind of came up, came back to my old stomping grounds. Uh, I love the park. Uh, Sugar House is the best. Uh, I love the artsy flavor and uh, the local camaraderie. It's great. Wouldn't live anywhere else. Either.